Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Since I'm taking a few days break from my thesis writing, I thought that it would be great to kind of like get back into art making and catch up on a few projects. This video will actually be structured a little bit differently from my usual time lapses. Today I'll be making a needle felted barber from the game Barber Is You, but in real time. Now my study room kind of like picks up a lot of background noises. So honestly, I don't think it'll be the best for ASMR content, but hopefully you may find the process itself relaxing. So thank you so very, very much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, so I kind of wanted to play around with this format for quite a while and I think that barber is kind of like that perfect project to do it on because it's very, very simple. It really only requires two shades of wool and depending on how big you want your project to be you'll probably need maybe this much maybe this much white wool and only a very very little bit of black so i'm really keen to make a start so i guess i'll just set up my table and we'll start rolling Just going to now wrap a few more layers of wool onto this piece. Um, if you wanted to keep it at this size, make it very small, feel free to. Um, just probably make it a bit firmer, just so the um, structure is a bit more stable. But for me, if I'm intending to kind of build on this, I prefer to have the core a little bit squishy. That way it's not such a pain to like kind of tack on the rest of the wall. Thank you. 
Usually during the first few layers I like to work the wool with a single needle. However, if you feel like you're getting to that size that you want and you're up to the stage of just really kind of smoothing out the texture, you are always free to switch to multiple needles. And I find it especially helpful if you're using a um, one of these needle felting pens because they can fit um, multiple needles in there. This is just a simple uh, free needle holder, but depending on where you get it, you could go up to like say 5, 10, 20. Also, if you find that the surface is just a bit too patchy, you're always free to just add another layer of wool. It doesn't have to be this thick, of course, but if you just wanted to wrap it once more, that's totally fine. I think I might do that for mine. What I like to do when smoothing it out is actually just kind of separating the fibers, wrapping it like that, and then get another piece. And that will go in the opposite sort of direction. That way it becomes a little bit more even. Make sure for rounded shapes that you kind of don't stick in one spot for too long. I know that I'm very, very guilty of that, but sometimes it's nice to just keep things moving. That way you retain the round shape. Now for this side, I'm just going to kind of stretch the wool over and those two sides will meet and then you'll end up having quite a smooth finish. I'm just kind of working my way through the shape. This is very much a medium where you get as much as you put in. That is, the more time that you do spend on building the shape and kind of strengthening that structure, the better it will be. So even a simple shape like this can, you know, take at least 10 minutes if you put the work in. But one of the pros is, is that the time actually kind of flies by. So you won't really notice if you spend hours here just stabbing away. <laughs> So I think for all intents and purposes, so we can move on, this seems to be all right. I'm quite happy with it. It's still a little bit soft, but you know, it's meant to be a, a, a soft sculpture. Now onto the next stage, we're just going to be adding the rest of the details, essentially. Um, that's the great thing about Baba, it's such a simplistic character design, which makes for a great beginner project if you want to get into needle felting. So, 
if you have a larger piece I would definitely suggest um, making the limbs and the ears separately. However, for something like this, and considering the coarseness of my wool, you can easily get away with just um, molding the limbs on yourself. It's it's quite it's quite easy. First, just kind of assess your shape, and then kind of mark out where you want the limbs. I'm gonna go here. These will be the back feet and these will be the front. I'll make it a little bit more visible. Sometimes that helps, especially if it's white wool, so I'll just tack on some of my black wool here, here. They'll obviously be covered up with the white wool, but if you're unsure of what to do, then it's certainly beneficial to just mark it out and be on the safe side. Alright, so it's all just really a matter of... I like to twist it on like that. Tack, twist it on, tack, twist it on, and tack. It does take a little bit for the shape to kind of build. But it's a nice and easy way of making a kind of a secure piece that's all in one. This is a very gradual method, so I totally understand if you want to just like make a very separate. I like to do it this way though because I don't like getting stabbed. <laughs> and part of the reason why I like to make larger pieces in the first place is because I can't for the life of me not do too detailed pieces without getting stabbed. So if you want, you can kind of go on the side, kind of rotate the main body to ensure that you're actually building um, building a limb rather than just, you know, making a giant embellishment like a pimple. probably just be demonstrating how to do one leg otherwise we'd be here forever but I think you would sort of get the gist of what I'm trying to do here stubby for my liking but that's the that's part of the charm of handmade objects you're really just creating them without actually making an exact replica so you know what it's cute so I'm happy about that I um, also went ahead and did the ears as well because despite the decreased size and shape it's really the same progress as the legs so we don't have to watch that all over again now I just need to add the cute little crooked eyes and we'll be done with this piece and I can go to bed. So take your black wool and just go to town basically. <laughs> now according to the little template that I drew up, this will be lower than this. Just start by stabbing smack bang at the middle and eventually all the wool will kind of like just kind of gather towards the middle that was nice and quick pretty satisfying to see them get all pulled together to one spot Flat 
button around this area. Ta-da! And that is how you make Baba in two hours. <laughs> Again, cheers for watching. I certainly had fun making this kind of extended needle felt demonstration and I really hope that you enjoyed the format. Hopefully this video kind of gives you an idea of just what it takes to needle felt. Like it is a very long and laborious task, but it is so fun and you really lose yourself in the progress. So if you're still mulling over whether to try out needle felting, I definitely recommend it. So that's all from me tonight and I'll catch you in the next video.